Hey there, David Hawk here. So today I wanted to walk you through the Google My Business setup process and the ongoing stuff that you do. None of this is real hard, so I wanted to just make a quick video about it. And you may be wondering why you might want to do that. And here's a simple reason. Uh, one of my clients got 28,631 views of their pictures in one month. And what's more than that, let me show you another one here. Uh, that result, we can't actually track direct sales from that, but we know it creates sales because we have had 364 requests for directions to the store. If people are asking directions, they're going to the store. It's a lot of people coming in. This is a local brick and mortar company. Um, and then we had 260 people in, this is all in the last 30 days, by the way, actually call the store for whatever they called the store for, whether they wanted to know if they had something, if they wanted to know direction, whatever. They had 260 people called the store, all from their Google My Business listing. So being having a local brick and mortar business listed in Google My Business is very powerful. Uh, you can see over the past 30 days, they had 24,600 views or people see their company online and this is again all through google my business you can see this is listing on search listing on maps and then uh, everything that happened so let me get into it real quick how to get your listing listed if your business is not listed and i'll also walk you through how to get your listing found better in google my business if your listing is there but it's just not getting found um Real quick, this video may take a little while, so if you don't have a whole lot of time, I've got, there's a button below that says download the checklist, and even if you do watch this video, it may be helpful to download the checklist. Just put your name and email address in the box below, and I will send you the checklist, and it'll kind of walk you through all these steps that I'm getting ready to talk about now, so you can do it on your own time. I'll also, in that checklist, give you a link back to this video so that you can find it. And that way, you know, if you need or if you're trying to set it up yourself, uh, you can get back here and see anything that you may want to see. Uh, lastly, if you'd like some help with this, you know, what would a video be without making a quick offer? If you'd like some help with this, I'm more than willing to help you. We do this all the time for companies. So just get in touch with us. Tell us you want to work with us with uh, Google My Business and we'll get you some information on that. So let's get right into it. First of all, you got to have your access to your page. And this is something to, even if you have somebody that's working with you to do your Google My Business stuff, make sure you have access because uh, I've seen many business relationships kind of deteriorate over time. And if you don't have access to that, you're not an admin on it, you can actually lose access to this page and it can be very harmful to your company. So make sure, even if somebody else is working with you on it, that you have admin access there so that you can bump people out and add people as needed. And basically just keep control of your listing. So that listing is at google.com forward slash business. You can see that here. Just go there. This is what the page looks like today. Since I'm putting this on video, they'll probably change it up tomorrow, but uh, that's what the page looks like today. Just go there and you can see sign in, manage now, just do what you need to do. You'll get in there and find all your stuff. I can't go into this because it'll show some of my clients proprietary stuff right now, or I would walk you through that too. Can't do that on video. I don't want to share their information. Uh, so I just can't do that right now. Anyway, claim your listing or create and verify your listing. If you don't currently have a listing or if you're trying to, um, even if you're trying to verify or get your listing claimed, you're going to have to verify it. And what's going to happen typically, Google's going to send you a postcard with some uh, letters underneath it. And if you have somebody else that's helping you with this and they're going to try and verify your page for you or your listing for you, um, that card is still going to get mailed to you and you're going to have to put it in uh, the some kind of numbers. It doesn't cost anything. They'll just send a postcard with the verification numbers. You go back in, you verify it. Once you've verified it, you can go in and do all this other stuff. 
So how to find your listing. If you don't know if you have a listing or not, just search your business and the city name. That's it. So is as an example, I just did my business, Marketing Velocity Chattanooga, do a Google search, and then you'll see my listing comes up down here. So if that's uh, if you don't know if you have a listing, that's how to find out if you do. If nothing comes up here, you probably don't. You'll have to go in and get your listing created. Clean up duplicate listings. What this means is if you have multiple listings in Google, um, clean out the ones you don't want because it's going to cause problems and Google likes consistency. So if uh, if there's more than one listing, make sure you get one taken out or you know whatever the extras are taken out and just have the one listing. Check the business name, address, and phone number. This is commonly referred to as NAP, so name, address, and phone number. Make sure the what's listed on Google is listed the same on your website. Again, Google likes consistency. This has shown over time that it's not quite as important as it used to be, but it never hurts to have consistency throughout the web. You know, consistency creates simplicity and simplicity actually creates sales. So uh, make sure all this is the same on your website as it is on the Google listing. Next, set your main category. This is important. If you are, I'm just gonna pull this off the top of my head. If you happen to be a plumber or have a plumbing business, make sure your listing is set for whatever the main category is that you want. So it'd be plumbing. Um, if you want your main category to be, uh, you know, drain cleaning, then that would be the main category. But you, that first category is really the one that's going to drive most of your interaction through Google. There are places to set up secondary categories, and I believe you can set up five extra secondary. So you can set the other ones, but make sure the one you want the priority on is listed in the main category. Adding pictures and logos. Sorry, I keep clicking that. It's it's uh, just a habit. I don't mean to do that. But adding pictures and logos. Go ahead and add a couple of pictures if you've got them. Definitely add your logo to the page. And all this is going to be done once you've verified. Go ahead and list that stuff. But we're going to do some of that later. So don't worry about getting too crazy with it. Just a picture and a logo that's good for getting it set up. Then get a shareable link for your reviews because you want to be able to send people to get re or list reviews online for your business. And that is one of the key things that Google looks for as far as getting you ranked better. So the more reviews you have, the better. Obviously, the better the reviews are, the better. Um, but here's, here's what I'm talking about. So if you go to Google Reviews, you can see here, write a review. And this link, it it's kind of a, it's not a complicated thing, but customers will have problems with this. So getting a link to take them directly here really helps in the fact that you can just create a short little URL for them to go in and get your review. Don't try and cheat the system here because Google knows <laughs> uh, if you do try and cheat the system, a lot of times they can track that, they'll figure it out, and you you don't want that because they could delete your listing. Sorry, they could delete your listing altogether, and you sure don't want that. So get the short link for people to, so you can send your customers and clients over there. Hey, as I was editing that video, I realized I didn't do a really good job of telling you how to do the link shortener, and it's important because people will have issues trying to give you re reviews. So the easier you can make it, the better. So what I want to do is show you, just click here on Google, your Google reviews, click that. It's going to open up this page. You're going to see write a review, click that. And then it's going to open up the part where they can give you a review. What I want you to do is just go ahead and select this entire URL, which it's going to be extremely long and then find a link shortener program. And you can just Google this. I've used bit.ly.com, it's a good one. Uh, Rebrandly is a good one. I've used both of those. Google has one somewhere here. Yeah, the Google Chrome URL shortener. So you can use any of those. Just get a short link that's easier for people to type into a search engine or in their phone, and then you can send them 
to go ahead and review you there. You can even put a button on your website with that link that says review us so that they can go in and do the review. And don't try and short or don't try and cheat the system. Don't try and get fake reviews or, you know, Google really watches that stuff and anything that they perceive as being uh, not honest can really hurt you in the fact that they can, well, they could just take your page down. So you don't want that. So go ahead and just try and do it legitimately. Uh, it may take a little while. That's okay. But just get the, all the reviews you can. That's like the second most powerful thing that gets you ranked, or from what I see it is anyway. The first most powerful thing is actually your location, your geographic location, which you pretty much can't change. Uh, so that's that's that. Anyway, that's how to do that. So if you've got any questions, again, head to the website or just leave a comment down at the bottom of the blog here, and I'll answer anything that I can. Thank you. I don't think I missed anything here, but if there's a place to fill something out in your profile, this is done easiest from an app, by the way, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But if there's anything in there, any blank space, for instance, they have products. So if you have products in your business, you can list them there. If you have, if you're a service business, list your services in the products. That none of that stuff hurts. Don't leave anything blank. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, just fill it out as completely as you possibly can. So the ongoing activity. This is what's going to help you rise in the search engines and get found better. Creating posts. And this can be. This is all, again, in the app that I'll tell you about in a minute, which gets put on your phone. It makes it real easy. But creating a post can be adding a picture, actually doing a real post post, adding events. Um, there's multiple different things under adding a post. And I'll show you. I think I had that up. Yeah, so here's the page that you'll see. Now this is the app and what the app looks like and you can see post right here. So if you click this post button, then that will take you and it'll ask you what kind of a post you want to create. Right now they've got some thing for COVID too. If you So if you've got any COVID rules or anything like that about your business or how you're handling that for your clients, I would recommend you put that in there as well. Um, sorry, I don't mean to keep taking my eyes off you. I'm just looking for what's next. So adding pictures and posts, I would recommend doing this every week, at least once a week. If not, if you've got time every day, I'd do one, especially if you're a company like that goes out to do business with your customers. So if you're an HVAC contractor, a plumber, uh, you know, contractor of any kind, really go on that goes out into the public. If you do take a picture with your phone of the, uh, whatever job you can currently working on and just upload it into Google My Business in the app. Again, I'll get to that in just a second. But if you do that in the app, it only takes about 30 seconds and it starts showing those pictures are geotagged because you took them with your phone. So it geotags your location. When you load that, that can help you get ranked too. And it helps Google also know what your footprint is that you do business in. Now, if you're like a CPA or something that does business in your office, then, you know, do it from your office. It's all good. It doesn't really matter. It's just that you get it done and add some kind of a posting at least once a week to it. Just put it on your calendar, you know, add a post to GMB, Google My Business, and, you know, just do it once a week. It will help you over time. This None of this is going to be immediate. I mean, when you... Claim your listing. If you're not already ranked, it's not going to rank immediately. It will take a little while, but all this stuff will help you get there, and it doesn't take much of your time to do. So adding events or specials. So if you're having an event, you can load it in there. If you have some kind of a special offer, you can load that in there as well. Again, under that post button. So add those things as you see fit and as you have them. Um, Replying to po reviews, whether they're positive or negative. This gets really important because Google sees your interaction with customers. It knows you're active when you're replying to reviews. And it's important to, to, especially if you get a bad review, 
and and you will it's nothing every everybody who's doing business has some kind of a bad review out there it just happens not everybody's going to be happy with you uh, the only way I've found to make people happy with you all the time is to be doing nothing and then you're not making any money so don't do that and don't worry about a bad review just go ahead and reply to it and don't don't be argumentative with them because that can create a big deal online but if you just tell them hey sorry about this um, you know is there anything we can do to make it up to you or just tell them what you'll do to make it up to them other people will see that too and that yet everybody knows businesses make mistakes but as long as you're willing to fix them that's good you can actually look at my marketing velocity and you'll see I have a bad review it's uh, they're just about impossible to get uh, get rid of and it was by something called a hater bot so I'm guessing it was some kind of an automated thing somebody decided to target me I don't know tried to get rid of that for years and haven't been able to but it doesn't it doesn't really matter my overall star rating is 4.3 that's okay if you're over four you're pretty much in good shape as far as your rankings or your ratings go so but replying to these things just shows Google that you are engaged so even if it's a good review hey thanks for the good review whatever your name is and that's it you know just be interactive with people on it again doesn't take that long once you have the app Google will send you a notification that you got a new review and then you can just click that it'll take you right into the app and you can reply to it there um, oh edit hours for if you're if a holidays coming up or for whatever on Friday you're gonna close early make sure you go in and edit those hours it's really easy um, I have another picture for you yeah so here you click the profile part again in the app down at the bottom you click profile and then add special hours and it'll allow you to add whatever your hours are for that special occasion whatever you're doing so make sure you do that it also shows that you're consistent with you know making sure people know what's going on with your business when you're open and that kind of thing I've clicked this thing again I am so sorry <laughs> keep highlighting that I don't know why but uh, I'm gonna quickly I'm not gonna do it again by the end of this video um, I probably will but anyway I've only got two maybe I can hold off anyway enable messaging that can be good it can be bad so if if you're going to take messages on Google my business and you can enable those messages and allow what it does is gives you another avenue for people to contact you so that's good but if you're not going to be really quick in replying to people there don't turn it on because Google will penalize you if you go I think it's over 24 hours but it's just like the Facebook messaging thing if somebody messages your business they you know they track how long it takes you to get back with them so if you're not going to be quick about that don't turn on messaging however if you you know can look at it on your phone say hey I got a message you go in there answer it real quick go ahead and do it it can help you uh, but like I say if you're not going to be quick with it don't don't do it and reviewing the insights that I do this every week and I do it every week for my customers but you don't have to do it every week you can do it every 30 days Google's going to give you the last 30 day history of what happened and what that's going to show you is how many people visited your website how many people called you uh, how they're finding you whether it's organic if they're searching directly for your business name or if they're doing a search uh, multiple things you're going to find in there so keep the insights you know check them out at least every 30 days and you can kind of see what's going on if you're increasing decreasing or if you know how people are finding you and kind of decide make decisions based on data on what to do next so that's it really if uh, if you have any questions I will gladly answer anything there's a place on the bottom of this page to put a comment go ahead and do it there you can go to my website marketing-velocity.com forward slash contact us and uh, I'll answer anything you've got if you want to do it privately you can go to the website that is but hey other than that thank you for watching I hope this helps you a lot 
like I said, Google My Business. If you can get ranked, especially in the top three, you're going to get business. It, it will probably amaze you how much comes through there. Like I said, 28,631 people checked out this person's picture. These pictures, not just one picture. You can see the actual one picture was 2,843. But that's in 30 days. I mean, he's been exposed to, his business has been exposed to 28,631 people in just 30 days, all because of Google My Business. It is a very profitable platform if you can get it ranked. And again, it just takes consistency and some work. Somebody can do this for you if you'd like help with it. Reach out to me. I'm happy to help you. I'm happy to do some of this stuff for you. Uh, I would recommend, like I say, that you gain access to your uh, Google My Business account or listing and then add me to it if you wanted to do that. But either way, I'm, I'm happy to help you. Um, we are an ethical company and I will not lock you out of it, even if we don't do or decide not to do business in the future. But uh, anyway, again, I hope you've gained some insight into what Google My Business can do for you and... I hope it helps you. I hope you go out and get some sales with us. Hey, one more thing before we go. If you like this video and if you know anybody that you think this could help, I would really appreciate you sharing it with them. Just, you know, give them, send the link to them as an email or whatever. But I want to get this to as many small business owners as possible so that the small business community can continue to flourish as it should. And, uh, you know, these are difficult times. So anytime I can get something to somebody and help them, I really enjoy doing that. And if you could help me, I would certainly appreciate it. So thanks. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye.